Firefighters in Lancaster sounding the alarm on the impact recent staffing changes could have on public safety. This after the city cut back on the number of on-duty firefighters because of budget issues. Fox 43's Alyssa Kratz gets us up to speed on the controversy in the Red Rose City. Lancaster's firefighter union is criticizing the city's decision to shrink the number of on-duty firefighters from 13 to 11, a number it says doesn't meet national fire protection standards. The union's president expressing his concerns on Facebook, saying, quote, we may burn to death tonight. Another family or some innocent children sleeping may die due to poor staffing levels tonight. The decision, which took effect July 1st, will help cut down on overtime pay, according to the city. It comes as Lancaster faces a $10 million deficit. On Monday, Fox 43 asked for an interview with Mayor Deneen Sirachi, but was told she's out of the office. The mayor's office instead providing a statement, which says in part, quote, there has been no reduction in staff. This is a scheduling and budgetary issue. We still have 69 fire suppression staff, a number that has remained consistent throughout Mayor Sirachi's time as mayor. Now this all comes seven months after the city permanently closed fire station six here on Fremont Street. The mayor had previously said the closure would not impact staffing levels, but the union believes that's not proving to be the case. The union saying in a Facebook post, Quote, we were effectively lied to back in September by both city and fire administration. Lancaster firefighters often work overtime due to a previous arbitration agreement, which allowed up to eight to be off at any one time. But the city tells Fox 43 it has already spent 82% of its firefighter overtime budget for the year. That's in addition to nearly $6 million in regular salaries, a total amount it cannot sustain. The mayor's office tells Fox 43, quote, this issue was not a problem previously due to a side letter agreement that has been in place for over a decade. Unfortunately, the union refused to extend this agreement. We tried reaching out to the firefighter union, but did not receive a response. Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News.